Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, uh, why a high quality man doesn't chase or hunt. Okay, uh, really quickly before we get started, if you've been interested in private coaching, but you go, you know what, it's a little bit out of my budget, do me a favor, check out the link below for Midlife Love Mastery. It's my VIP group and for a nominal cost each month, you can have direct access to me via the platform of a private group within Facebook and also a once a month hosted call where you can ask questions directly. Okay, so we're going to talk about chasing and hunting regarding the high quality man. So, you know, it's so interesting. I wanna differentiate between the, what I call high quality man and the average guy. And the high quality man, and I'm not sure I love the term quality, but what I'm really talking about, a high quality man is a mature man, emotionally mature man, not mature man in that he pays his bills and shows up at work at time on time and even is a good father to his children. I'm talking about those emotionally mature men, those men who, uh, their actions match their words. They take personal responsibility for their choices. They know how to have healthy conflict resolution skills. They, know, what I mean is basically knowing how to fight fair. They have a sense of empathy. They care about your feelings and they're transparent. They're not hiding things. Those are some of the aspects of a high, what I call emotionally, emotional maturity, which represents a high quality man. Here's the thing. Sadly, most people haven't reached a level of emotional maturity. In fact, many people are sucking on the nipple of victimhood. They don't take responsibility for their choices. Their actions don't match their words on a consistent basis. And let me just say, we all make mistakes, but consistent basis. Some people just lack a sense of empathy or about caring about others because they're more focused on their own feelings. And when it comes to communicating, when there's conflict, it's all about I'm right and you're wrong because a healthy, a mature person person recognizes that each person has a point of view and I'm willing to listen to your point of view and accept your point of view even if it differs from my own and certainly transparency that ability to be able to answer questions asked of you in a transparent way and I don't mean if it's you know um, divulging any secrets but I'm saying you're transparent with who you are in your life okay that's emotional maturity but the vast majority of people lack that sense of emotional maturity and they're they're more they're 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 stuck in their ego or their fear based and it's one of the reasons why the book the rules the rules sets women up for failure and i'm going to get to the hunt and chase in a moment because think of some of these topics you know in here uh, don't talk to a man first. Don't ask him to dance. Don't stare at men or talk to men. You know, all of this is an egoic way of dating. It's not a healthy way of dating because oh, I'm going to take my glasses off. So, and by the way, if you have a comment about my glasses, please post it below. I'd like to hear what you think about me wearing glasses. <laughs> okay. Because here's the thing, the chase and hunt. Let's go back to the chase and hunt. There's nothing sexier to a woman than to be pursued by a man. I get it. That, that man that comes on, he's crystal clear, he knows what he wants, and he's pursuing you. Okay? I get it. That's highly attractive. Um, for a lot of women, they've been so conditioned to expect the chase or hunt that they're not actually investing in the relationship. Let me repeat that. They're not actually investing in the relationship. In other words, for them, they need you. It's almost like I need you to like me for me to feel good about myself. I need you to like me so I can feel good about myself. And that's what the hunt and chase does. And But let's get real. The hunt and chase isn't I'm hunting a relationship. I'm chasing a relationship. I want to be fully committed in a relationship. No, the hunt and chase is mostly the drive for sex. That's where that hunt and chase comes from. So you lady have been so conditioned to hearing that men chase and hunt because that's the way we are biologically programmed from our caveman perspective. But let's get real. What are we chasing and hunting? It can't be a fully committed relationship. And I only say this because why are there so many articles about commitment phobic men why men pull away why men ghost why men do this the emotionally mature man that high quality man doesn't need to hunt or chase because he's stepping into his power 
He's stepping into his sovereignty and he seeks a partner who's also stepped into their power and into their sovereignty. This is one of the reasons why I want you to check out the book, uh, If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated. What's the subtitle? The Handbook to Finding Love on a Spiritual Path. Because here's the thing, it doesn't divide men and women up into the categories of masculine or feminine. It's about looking at it from a spiritual perspective and a high quality man shows up from that perspective. And a high quality woman shows up from that perspective. We are, they're not so hung up on the gender roles of a relationship because they're willing to invest equally into the mating dance willing to invest equally into the mating da dance. And I don't mean paying for dates equally and all that kind of stuff. That's not what I mean. What I mean is the effort is mutual. The effort is, is relative. The investment is equal. Because if the investment of the guy is this and the woman is this, yeah, he might catch her. Yeah, that's the rules. He might catch her temporarily, but he's going to leave because it's not a matter of he Here's another thing. There's this belief that he has to work for it to earn it. That's a crock of shit because here's the thing. How many people work hard to buy a car and they treat their car like shit? Okay. There's no, you don't earn a relationship. You show up. You show up as an emotional, mature person. Your actions match your words. You take personal responsibility for your choices. You know how to have healthy conflict resolution. You have empathy and you're transparent. That's showing up as an emotionally mature person, as a high quality person. Because a high quality man doesn't need to chase or hunt because he's showing up on the 50 yard line and he's seeking a partner who's also showing up on the 50 yard line from emotional maturity, from understanding how a healthy relationship works. I'm mean, here to say, many of you have no effing clue how a relationship works. I, I see this time and time again. You have no clue how a relationship works. If you haven't ordered the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman, you know, Dr. John Gottman is a renowned uh, marriage and family therapist who recognizes all the pitfalls, what causes divorce. You know, that's the thing. If you want to figure out how a successful relationship works, go find out how, why most people get divorced. When you recognize why most people get divorced, you can actually prepare to be in a relationship before you give your heart to another human being. God, I'm yelling. <laughs> I get so passionate about this. I've been told I get kind of parental here, so please forgive me. But uh, is my shirt off? Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm parental because here's the thing. I want to shake everyone and wake them up, wake their consciousness up from this egoic way, this rules way of dating to more of a conscious way. The, the, if the Buddha dated, understanding the mechanics of a healthy relationship. Eight Dates is a great book for understanding the mechanics. And ladies, here's the thing. Since most of my audience is women, I highly encourage you to buy this book, buy this book, and if you're going to allow a penis into a vagina, if you're going to allow a penis into a vagina, then he's got to buy this book and you read it together. If you're going to be regularly intimate with one another, then my suggestion is you co-create the relationship by investing in this. And if a guy has a problem with that, then he may not be your guy. Because I'm going to, but here's the good news is a high quality guy is going to love this book. A high quality guy is going to love this book and this book. He's not going to like the book, The Rules. Because that's, that's just setting yourself up for egoic, fear-based failure. But they're going to love the book if the Buddha dated or eight dates. And that's my invitation for you. Because a high-quality guy doesn't need to chase. He's looking for a partner that shows up on the 50-yard line with you. Or with him. Excuse me. Did that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. All right. That was a lot. Okay. So... I want to hear your thoughts on this. If this resonated with you, please post a comment. I, I'm, I'm so, um, what's the word? I'm so passionate about shaking people. I'm going to shake up my computer. Shaking people up, waking them up to a new level of consciousness when it comes to relationships. And I want to hear your thoughts about this. Let's start spreading the word. Can you press, can you comment about this and share this with your friends can you spread the word for a new way of a or a better way to approach relationships that's my invitation from you 
Also, if you'd like to join my private group, check out the link below as well. It's called Midlife Love Mastery, and it's a fantastic group and a nominal cost to join. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.